Hey yo, it's Brian here. Today, wish I was talking about the San Francisco 49ers. I wish they were in the Super Bowl tomorrow against the Cincinnati Bengals, but unfortunately, we did not win the game against the Los Angeles Rams. It is the Rams versus Bengals. I'm excited for this matchup. I hope you guys are as well. A great team from both sides. The Bengals, they have awesome superstars like Joe Burrow, Jamar Chase, all those guys. Also, T. Higgins, he was my also MVP for fantasy football this year. The Los Angeles Rams, their star started as well with Matthew Stafford from the Detroit Lions. Cooper Cup had just one of the great years in NFL history, I would say. Odell Beckham, he's coming through finally for them after struggling for a little bit early on to get known in the system. He's doing a lot better, and their defense is very vaunting as well. I just want to talk about this game. I think you guys know who I want to pick and who we are picking in San Francisco because haha, the Rams are division rivals, right? But still, the Rams, they're a fine team, and they look really good. And credit to them, they beat us in the championship game. I wish we could have, but you know it is what it is, right? Anyways, let's talk about this game. Let's see. Some stuff to look forward to. I'd say the biggest thing is which quarterback shows up the most. Is it going to be Joe Burrow, Matthew Stafford, who turns the ball over the least? That's going to be tough right there. In terms of that, I mean, sometimes they do turn the ball over a little bit. Joe Burrow near the end of the season. Matthew Stafford, uh, inconsistent in terms of that. I mean, there's games where he just does no picks, but there's games where he does like two or three picks. So you don't know which one is going to show up for Stafford in particular. The, another thing to look forward to is the defense. Who's going to give the most pressure to the quarterbacks? I think the Rams might win that one because the Bengals' offensive line is not the best. It's not terrible, but it definitely could be a lot better than what they have right now. But still, Joe Burrow getting sacked a lot of times, being able to get up, act like nothing happened. That's amazing right there. Hopefully, he does not take too many shots like that in the near future before he gets hurt big time. But right now, holding up really well, and hopefully he's ready for a big uh, running around in this game against their Rams defense. And Matthew Stafford, got to get ready for that Bengals pass rush. It's not too bad as well. They can get to the quarterback, Hendrickson. I mean, he's a throwback football player guy. I am a huge fan of his, just watching him play with no gloves. That's, this feels like 1970s, 1980s football all over again, right? So that's really cool right there. And talking about the Bengals, I've been very optimistic about them ever since they hired Zach Taylor in 2019. We played them, I think, week two, I believe, in Cincinnati. And we won, I think, 41-17. to they, they were still a big mess. Joe Burrow wasn't there yet. I think Andy Dalton was still the quarterback. A lot of stuff to look forward to, but at the same time, stuff to improve, and they definitely improved within two years. This is kind of like the transformation that they did have, like the 49ers. The 49ers, Kyle Shanahan, first two years, up and down, up and down, and then the third year, boom, Super Bowl appearance. That's really cool right there. And this matchup's interesting in particular because Taylor and McGay were in the same coaching staff in Los Angeles with... Taylor being the quarterback's coach under Big Bay a few years ago, then taking the Cincinnati job. A little bit worrying, considering the fact that he wasn't the offensive coordinator or anything like that, but he's done a really good job leading this team, and I'm happy that they've gotten this far. And credit to Mike Brown, of all people, the general manager and owner of the Cincinnati Bengals. I mean, he's been ridiculed his whole career, and I know every Bengal fan was pretty upset at him, or is upset at him, from the past, talking about no winning seasons, being cheap as a cheap owner, but look at it. Everything's paying off. The draft picks, the acquisitions that they have made for the past few years it's led up to this moment and you know if he wins the Super Bowl tomorrow this is going to erase every bad thing that everybody was talking about and him solidifying himself as a great owner in the NFL but you got to win this one that's a big important one the Rams they're trying to cement their legacy as well I mean they essentially bought their way in a free agency they took big risk in terms of giving up draft picks for established players and you know I, I will admit it does work it did work for them and we'll see if that pays off tomorrow in this game, a lot at stake, a lot at stake in terms of legacy and just people trying to win Super Bowls as much as possible. I know what it's like to be on the losing end twice in my lifetime. I've never seen the 49ers win one in my life. Hoping to see one next year in 2022, but I'm not going to be talking about the 49ers right now. I'm going to be talking about these two teams in particular. But yeah, I'm liking the star studded lineup in terms of the quarterback and receivers in particular, and the running back, the no slouches as well. You got Joe Mixon for the Cincinnati Bengals. He's a great, fine running back. I can't wait to see what he does. It's just a lot of great things for this one. But if I had to pick a team, everybody in America, for the most part, and everyone in San Francisco is picking the Bengals to win this one. I want them to win this one. Who do I think has the better team? I would say Los Angeles. I'm not going to be biased and just say Cincinnati has the better team all around. I think the Rams defensively and offensively, they're more complete. And special teams can do some interesting stuff as well. But since he, you have Joe Burrow, and we'll see if he could be Joe Cool like Joe Montana. I'd I love to see a last-second drive 
at the end zone, win the game, and win the Super Bowl. That would be amazing right there. If I had to pick a final score for this one, I think it's going to be a close one. Some people think the Rams are going to blow the Bengals out just because they think the Rams are a better team, which is very reasonable. But I'm going to be having a very close game. I'm going to be picking Cincinnati to win this game about 28 24. Kind of like the Patriots and Seahawks game. Isn't that an interesting number right there? 28-24 from years ago. That's why I'm be picking Cincinnati to win this one. And I'm excited to see if they do. And hopefully when they do. If the Rams win, I can't be too mad at all because they are a fine team as well. Sean McVay gets a lot of credit for Los Angeles. Matthew Stafford, he definitely deserves one after being in Detroit hell for years. The only guy, as I said in my last video, that I don't want to win the Super Bowl is pretty much Jalen Ramsey because he's kind of a punk, to be honest with you. But, hey, that's the hero nor there. He's still a great player. And, Ramsey, if you ever watch this, just remember, I'm just a guy on YouTube. You can talk trash on me. I don't really care. But, anyways, that's pretty much it, you guys. Please let me know who you guys picking to win the Super Bowl. Are you picking the Rams? Are you picking the Bengals? Please let me know in the comments below. If you guys like this, please like and subscribe. That's going to help me out a lot. I hope to catch you guys up after the Super Bowl. I'll probably make a reaction video seeing who wins this game. And yeah, you guys have a great rest of your night. Go Niners all day. Go Bengals. And I can't wait to see y'all win tomorrow, hopefully. But good luck to the Rams as well.